wonder what a TV dinner would be like hot and fresh? We're in Kabukicho, Japan at Hadamado, Japan's answer to fast food restaurants. They specialize in bentos, traditional boxed lunches, kind of look like a hungry man, and they're perfect for on the go. It's a pretty small shop, but they have a large selection, which can change from shop to shop. Super easy to order if you don't speak Japanese, just point and pay. Average price, about four to five dollars. About seven to eight minute wait. And if you don't want to wait, there's always a selection of take home soups. This is ultimate grab and go. There is no seating here. Since there's no seating inside, we've kind of had to park ourselves on the side of the street. For just under $13, we picked up two meals. One, a meat lover's delight, and the other one, just about vegetarian. So let's taste this. The bento looks just like the picture. The dish comes with coho salmon, a mixed vegetable dish with carrots, mushrooms, and green beans. Another mixed vegetable, a Japanese green with sesame seeds, a 16 grain mochi mixed with brown rice and barley. It looks like a croquette of sorts and a mystery item. <laughs> we'll figure out what that one is. <laughs> Starting with coho salmon. It's good. It tastes like it's fresh. It's room temperature. It has just enough salt, saltiness to it. Pretty good. Interesting. It's a chilled salad. It tastes like there's a bit of fruit in there. Our next salad. It has a simmered up green vegetable similar to a spinach or a shard. And it's seasoned with sesame seeds and it has a bit of uh, tempura type strips in it. A little sweet. No real dressing to it, but it's a nice fry. I personally couldn't distinguish 16 different grains of the white rice but the barley and the brown rice do give a nice little crunch in the texture. Now for our mystery item. Still remains a mystery. Can't say for sure what it is. Creamy, sweet pumpkin type taste. That's about as close as I can get. Finally, the croquette. It's a deep fried patty of tofu with a mix of other little fillings in it. That's really good. It has a good vegetable bouillon type taste to it. A lot of flavor. That's the star, I think, of this dish. I do recommend this vegetarian, near vegetarian dish from Hatomato. Next we have the meat lovers option. Here we have a beef steak on rice, uh, what looks to be fried chicken, a couple different types of croquettes, a sausage, half an egg, beef stir fry, and what looks to be potato salad. So we'll start with the beef steak. I was expecting Salisbury steak, but it's actually a pretty nice cut of meat. Up next, the stir fry beef. Thin little shavings. It's good, it's got a nice teriyaki flavor to it. Quite tasty. If you like Korean barbecue, it's a good dish. Is it or is it not potato salad? It most certainly is. Did not expect potato salad in Japan. Next up, fried chicken. That's no Chicken McNugget. That is a chunk of chicken that has been breaded and fried. It's a nice piece of chicken. Sausage. It has a big snap to it. Mildly seasoned. Pork. Maybe a little chicken mixed in. Mystery croquette number one. That's a tasty meat patty. This one is what tastes like Salisbury steak. Salisbury steak, mind you, wrapped in a nice breaded shell. <laughs> Last croquette. This croquette is sweet. Tastes like a mashed potato patty with a bit of meat seasoning. How can you go wrong? <laughs> Seven different forms of meat in this dish. Can't say there's no variety. Quite good. Not what I was expecting for most of my bites. Some a little sweet, some a little gingery. Definitely a delicious bite in Japan. So we just had two completely different meals from Hatomato, and both of them quite good. So if you're in Japan, thumbs up to Hatomato. You don't have to go home, but you can't eat here.